health. The origin of the word means whole. Because we are a connected part of the world around us, the health of one organism impacts the whole of our world. Just as the well-being of honeybees affects plants, trees, rodents, and birds, the health of living organisms found in the soil affects the health of the plants grown there, the animals that consume those plants, and so on. True health or wholeness involves connections, and soil health is fundamental to all health throughout the world. What makes soil healthy? A healthy soil is one that can support crop production, but also protect the environment. And there are a lot of different soil characteristics that contribute to that. From my perspective, the really important components are how well does that soil hold water? How well does that soil provide the nutrients that the crop needs? And how well does that anchor the plants in the soil and provide a medium for the root system to grow? These functions, along with supporting the growth of plants and other microorganisms, provide the foundation for a healthy environment. The Cropping Systems and Water Quality Research Unit in Columbia, Missouri, explores how these soil functions work in agricultural settings. They study various management practices and identify those that promote soil health, particularly on land degraded by past management. Soil health helps farmers understand how their management practices are affecting the essential functions that soils provide to their crops and understanding these management practices will help them make sustainable and profitable decisions moving forward with their management operations. Their research shows several methods farmers can implement to increase soil health on their land. Well, a farmer can improve soil health and increase organic matter and these other characteristics by uh, keeping the soil covered and having increased crop diversity, so a diversity of plants, and reducing disturbance, so reducing the tillage operations. Practices that build soil carbon also improve soil health. So what we're doing is we're taking a probe, we're pushing it into the soil, and on the probe we have three different sensors, and the idea is to take the measurements from those sensors and quantify the amount of carbon throughout the soil profile. Generally, the more carbon in the soil, the healthier the soil. One of the best ways to increase soil carbon is by growing cover crops and perennial crops. This also minimizes soil erosion, one of the top causes of poor soil health. Most farmers really want to be good stewards of the land and protect the environment, but at the same time, they want to maintain economic benefits, and soil health can contribute to both. As soil health improves across the planet, so in turn will water quality, air quality, and even the Earth's resilience to climate variability. These elements affect all living organisms, so the healthier we can make our soils, the healthier all life will be.